All right, what's up guys? It's the Not So Completionist here today with another Not So Haul. This is a Not So Haul episode two. I didn't have a name for it in the last video, um, but I have just up it, updated it. Anyways, my plan is to drop these every Saturday. So look for these every Saturday. I'm gonna make this one kind of a quick one. The last one was pretty long. It also dropped like four days ago because I didn't have the schedule planned out yet. But anyways, a Not So Haul, it's just kind of stuff I found in diecast. I bought on eBay, I found in stores. I'm gonna show it off all in one video every week. Anyways, let's get started. Let's start off with some pretty simple stuff. I've got this Matchbox 5-pack pack here, the Matchbox Service Squad 5-pack. Not typically a 5-pack I'd buy, um, but there is one exception uh, and one reason I bought it, and it's that car right there in the middle, um, the super fast 50th anniversary car. Um, as you know, as many of you probably know, Matchbox is making 50th, 50th anniversary super fast chases. I don't know if they're chases or just, they're models exclusive to Target in certain cases, um, but they're gold versions of models that celebrate the 50th anniversary. And for international collectors, they always do one in a five pack. This was that version. I plan on getting them all. So I had to get the five pack. It also comes with a decent version of the Gulf Country there in blue. Not my favorite version of it. Um, definitely, I think it's probably the worst, um, but uh, pretty cool. Um, there's a variation on the interior of that car as there's always been. Um, so I'm curious to see which one I get. Anyways, that is the five pack. Next up is a Matchbox 10-pack, and the reason I bought this 10-pack is for one reason, and it is that BMW 1M you see that is the exclusive. This car is exclusive to the 10-pack. Um, the BMW 1M is one of my favorite cars in real life and one of fav my favorite Matchbox models, so I had to go ahead and pick up a version of this 10-pack because this silver one looks absolutely amazing. Um, my favorite version of the BMW 1M remains the orange one. There's a very nice German exclusive one in white. Um, the blue one was good. Um, there hasn't been a bad version yet, um, but this one definitely looks like one of the better versions. I think it's better than the red and gold, just looking at it now. Um, probably better than the best of world. Um, so probably going to be a top three in terms of versions. Usually I don't like silver cars. I think they're kind of boring. But on the 1M, especially with those darker rims, it looks really, really good. If you're curious on other cars, you got a Ridgeline, Ranchero, Austin Healey, Nissan Junior. In a weird color that weirdly works on that truck and then some fantasy stuff but yep nice little 10 pack there anyways that's it for kind of in-store buys everything else you're about to see came off ebay or from a website or something like that um as many of you may know i like to collect nascar die cast so in front of you you are seeing a joey logano car but not just any joey logano car this is the joey logano homestead win from 2019 and if you're wondering why that's so important, it's because when he won this race at Homestead Miami, or 2018, I should say, not 2019, when he won this won this race at Homestead Miami, he won the NASCAR Cup Series Championship. Um, Joey Logano is my favorite driver, so it was a very big deal kind of for me to see him win. It was very exciting, very cool. Um, so I had to go ahead and pick up the 164th version. Um, they have some very nice 124 version Lionel Racing, um, but I don't typically do those. They're more expensive. I just don't have room for them, so I kind of avoid them, but they did a 164th version of this car. This was his third win of the season. He won previously at Talladega and then a couple weeks before at home or uh, Martinsville in an incredibly exciting race. The race win on that one is absolutely insane because he bumped a guy out of the way to win it, and then the guy bumped him back, so his car was all tore up. This is just kind of like the aftermath. You'll see of the confetti, you got like the wheel wear from uh, where he burned it down, doing donuts, all that cool stuff. But yeah, this is the car that he won his championship in. Um, so I had to pick up a version as he's my favorite driver. You got the cool little Snapchat logo that they did for all the uh, 2019 or 2018 playoff cars. So super, super dope. Excited to have another 164th Joey Logano die cast in the collection. Figured I'd show that off. Won't be doing a review or anything. If you wanna see some cool photos, I'll have some up on my Instagram when I open it up. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, right now I'm at Hot Wheels Under Dash Tournaments. I will change that shortly to match my YouTube name. Um, I haven't changed it yet. Um, I just have to announce it. I've been kind of lazy. But uh, there you go. There's the Joey Logano Team Penske um, win from Homestead Miami in 2018. And now for the biggest thing in the video. Now it's a super big thing. I'm going to be doing a separate video on these, so I'm going to run through them pretty quickly here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them, even though I definitely should but like I said I'll be doing a different video this in front of you if you know what they are you know they're kind of a big deal this is the BMW Matchbox dealer series from the early 2000s there were eight cars in the dealer series they were exclusive to Germany they're not very easy to find anymore 
I got a set on eBay for an extremely good price. I jumped on it. I was gonna try and buy them one by one. Individually, they'll go for a minimum of $20. Most of the ones I were looking at went $30, $40. The BMW X5 right here, I saw priced at like 85. I bought this entire set for, I'm not gonna give the exact price because I don't like giving, giving exact prices. I don't want people knowing what I spent, but um, under $150 for the entire set. Um, I paid less than $20 per car, which was I think an extremely good deal. Um, but just incredibly, incredibly dope series. Super hard to find. For you guys that know, I am I love German cars. Um, so this was a must-have for me. I knew I was going to go after at some point. I was just never sure when I was going to start. Um, I started looking at eBay. I started watching them. Started deciding which cars I was going to go for. In that process, someone listed at an insane price. Um, and I just jumped on it. I went for it and I got it. Um, so yeah, super exciting, super dope. Um, I'll do a separate video on these and talk about them. There's a great video up on Lamely channel, uh, Lam the Lamely group channel. So I won't do a better job than him. He knows a little bit more about it than I do. But uh, yeah, I just want to talk about these because I think they're super dope. Um, I mean, they're just insane. They really are. And they're incredibly nice looking. They have opening doors, all that. Um, as far as like early 2000s Matchbox go, it was kind of a dark place for Matchbox that time. But at least we got these absolute gems. They come in this super nice packaging. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna open them up at some point. I'll do a video. I don't know how soon that will be. I might just wait a couple months to do it when I, a little slow. I still have some stuff to produce. I just got my Matchbox Q case in. Um, I've done a review on the Main Countryman. I've got to re review this guy, the Subaru Sambara truck. Looks super cool, or Sambar truck. Looks super dope. But yeah, that's kind of it. Like I said, quick episode. I didn't want to spend too much time talking and boring you. Um, especially because I just posted earlier this week a Not So Haul. I'll have some really big stuff. Or, yeah, the next Not So Haul, next Saturday, I should hopefully have a lot of stuff here that I want to talk about. Um, like I said, the big talking point would have been these cars right here, but I'm planning on doing a separate video. Um, I'll definitely be doing posts on uh, Instagram everywhere you want. Um, but yeah, just super dope set. I, I, just, I just love looking at them, getting them in the lighting for the first time. They look really good. Um, they're going to be fun to look at it in the photo studio on the turntable. Um, I'll probably just do like a 10 minute video talking about them, but yeah, some dope, dope stuff. Um, kind of rambling at this point. That's all for now. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe guys, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.